Welcome everyone to this evening's meeting of the Westerville City Schools Board of Education and the Gem Awards. We are delighted to have each and every one of you and you're in for a treat. We have some amazing individuals that help our schools out each and every day. So with that, Ms. Marshall, will you please call the roll? Join us in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And with that, I would like to welcome Rachel Price, President of Parent Council. Thank you all so much for being here this evening. Um, my name is Rachel Kreitz. I am president of Westerville Parent Council. On behalf of our board and members, I want to thank each and every one of the volunteers, nominators, and those nominated that helped to make this year successful. The success of this program relies on each and every one of you. I'd like to also take a moment this evening to thank our board of education, members of our district office for attending and supporting this important initiative, along with staff from Westerville North for all their help this evening and allowing us to use our facility. I might also like to welcome Sam Howley and Cameron Dean with Roush Honda who are here this evening. They will help us present the awards, our wonderful sponsor. And of course, as a Westerville North grad myself, I'm proud to be here in this building to celebrate all of you gems. I'd also like to point out our student volunteers um, here from two of our local high schools. Um, we have three students back here. And then, of course, you saw the students as um, they came in this morning or this evening and welcomed you. They've definitely helped make our evening run smoothly. You'll be hearing from some of them later as they announce our gem, gem winners. And lastly, the evening would not have happened without our district gem chair. Um, Cassie Mum and District Executive Assistant Jennifer Ferris. Thank you all so much. So a little bit about the GEM Awards program. Also known as Great Educator Mentor Awards is a collaboration between Westerville Parent Council and our incredible sponsor, Roush Honda of Westerville. GEM was created in 2002 to recognize those who make a difference and go above and beyond in the lives of students at every school in the Westerville School District. District awards are also given to those who impact students across the school district as a whole or at more than one building. Additionally, Westerville Parent Council, along with Roush, is proud to present the Terry Gordon Business Award. Terry Gordon was the Director of Public Relations for Roush Honda and his efforts started our GEM partnership. We honor Terry Gordon and the legacy he created by recognizing the significant impact of the support of local businesses on our school district. This year, we received hundreds of incredible nominations, like over 300 nominations. These nominations continually remind all of us of the unbelievable things people in our community are doing for our students and for our district. We were absolutely blown away and truly cannot thank all the volunteers, teachers, staff members, and all who made a difference in so many creative, thoughtful, and inspiring ways. I wanted to share something I read that a friend, a gem here tonight, had shared with others. When I read this story, it made me think of the essence of this award and our community. I'm not sure who the original author is, so forgive me, but the words rang so true. Quote, several years ago, I invited a Buddhist, a Buddhist monk to speak to my senior elective class. And quite interestingly, as he entered the room, he didn't say a word. That caught everyone's attention. He just walked to the board and wrote, Everyone wants to save the world, but no one wants to help mom do the dishes. We all laughed, but then we went, he went on to say this. Statistically, it's highly unlikely that any of you will ever have the opportunity to run into a burning orphanage and rescue an infant. But in the smallest gesture of kindness, a warm smile, holding the door for the person behind you, shoveling the driveway of the elderly person next door, you have committed an act of immeasurable profundity because to each of us, our life is our universe. This is my hope for you this year, that by your smallest acts of kindness, you will save another's world." End quote. 
Tonight, we will hear briefly about so many of these acts of kindness, from picking up instruments in another state in the early hours of the morning, to giving a student the safe space to make them feel themselves, to just telling a parent that they are doing a good job. It's these small moments throughout each minute of our day, each day of the year, that truly touch so many of the people in our lives. In the midst of a life and world that can feel heavy at times, the joys that all of you have provided are undeniably important, beautiful, and simply tremendous. Congratulations to the winners, and thank you to all of you for your incredible impact on our community and the people that you come in contact with each day. Now, without further ado, I'd like to introduce you to our guest speaker, Rick Bannister, founder and CEO of Neighborhood Bridges of Westerville, a former district gem winner in 2012, a graduate of Westerville South, and a true legacy and treasure in our community. Mr. Bannister founded Neighborhood Bridges and launched the 501c3 organization on Martin Luther King Day, January 16, 2017. Since its inception, Neighborhood Bridges has grown to serve 43 communities in Ohio and Alabama, and the charity has directly impacted more than 339,000 students and families. Mr. Bannister's come on to our parent council meetings often to share of the work that they've done, and we're truly grateful. Rick and his wife, Diane, began dating while seniors at Westerville South and continued dating through their years at Ohio State. They have four daughters, three of whom are now college graduates, and their gift, Riley, is a freshman majoring in musical theater performance at Western, Western Michigan University. Rick served across two terms on the Westerville School's Board of Education, excuse me, chaired seven levy campaigns and has coordinated a total of 15 campaigns and served on numerous boards in Westerville since 1993. Now in his 20th season, Rick also served as the volunteer public address announcer for Westerville South football, as well as boys and girls basketball. He is also in his 13th year as the PA announcer for Ohio State University's women's softball team, and in his fourth year as the PA announcer for the Ohio State women's ice hockey, NCAA 2022 national champions, men's volleyball, and more. Rick has announced more than 1,400 athletic and special events in Westerville, the Ohio High School Athletic Association for Otterbein University, and for the Ohio State University Buckeyes. In 2012, Rick was inducted into the Westerville South Alumni Hall of Fame, and the Westerville Board of Education created a community service award in his name. I could go on <laughs> with even more about Mr. Bannister, but I'm going to let him take it from here. I'm honored to introduce him to you as this evening's keynote speaker. Thank you, Rachel. It's really an honor to be here. I brought a prop. My Gem Award from 2012. And I brought it because just being with you and knowing many of you brings so much more honor to my own award, knowing about your service and commitment to our schools. So I thought I'd bring it out for a date tonight. <laughs> Well, what I'd like to start with is, oh, I, I got to tell you, uh, Rachel talked about our four girls. Um, this is the first time in 28 years that we didn't have a student in Westerville City Schools on spring break. So Diana and I are actually on spring break this week. Uh, so I left her in Glen Arbor, Michigan this morning, and um, she's having a pajama party, and uh, I'll be joining her later um, after this wonderful evening. And um, so I want to start with just briefly uh, a couple of comments about Neighborhood Bridges. Our mission is to bridge communities with schools in providing basic needs, removing barriers, and seeking equity for students so they can engage and succeed in school and life. That mission is, I love our mission. Um, and we worked hard on that um, with our board. And um, it all began right here in Westerville. I'll more about that in a minute. But I just wanted to share with you why we think this is necessary. Um, Rachel mentioned I'm the public address announcer for Ohio State, so this is hard for me to share. But that school up north, the University of Michigan, commissioned a statewide study on the high school class of 2018, entire state of Michigan. What they found is 
extremely similar to what we would find here in Westerville, Central Ohio, or Ohio. What they found was that from that class of 2018, there was a 92% graduation rate for children who had never experienced economic disadvantage, poverty. That rate falls 20 points to 72% if a student has experienced economic disadvantage. It falls to 52% graduation rate if those same students have ever experienced homelessness during their career as a student. These are the students who we are working for here in Westerville and across all of our communities. And I'm terribly grateful to many people in the, this room tonight for helping me uh, bring this about. Last year we crossed over $2 million in annual giving. And we're excited about growing our service area and deepening our impact within all of our communities. So enough about that. I want to talk about uh, this wonderful gym program. And Cameron Dane, are you in here? Is he sitting in here? Oh, there he is. Yeah, thank you so much, Cameron. We know each other. Uh, I'm a big, uh, my wife and I have purchased all of our cars since we got married from Ralph Honda. Every single one of them. Same with our four daughters. They all got a car off their used car, car lot there. So uh, anyway, I'm grateful for this GEM program. So what is a GEM? A GEM, GEMs typically require very high pressure and temperatures. Public schools, imagine that. Time and space are fa fairly straightforward requirements for a GEM. The right combination of ingredients, heat, and pressure must last long enough for the minerals to crystallize. Your efforts are wonderful and sustained. They also need room to grow. And so again, it's very nice that Roush and the school district takes time out to think about our gems in our community. In a well-faceted gemstone, a ray of light passing into the top of the stone undergoes total internal reflection and is returned to the eye as brilliance. Isn't that nice? That's you. Your work is a multiplier in this community. You're adding love, you're adding light, you're adding warmth, you're adding color, you're adding brilliance. So the next section is about gratitude. I've already thanked Roush Auto Group, so I took that out of turn, but thank you uh, for your continued commitment to our community and this program and our schools. But I also, since I have you for a minute, uh, I want to express my own gratitude to our superintendent, John Kellogg. Neighborhood Bridges would have never occurred without his belief in our mission. Um, there's a story about this. We passed the school levy in November 2016. It's the last levy I, I have chaired. And the morning after that levy, we decided to meet and celebrate at Java Central, celebrate the community saying yes to our schools. And John said, I said, I, I want to do this. I know it's crazy. Um, and he said, I'm in. And he offered belief, and he offered trust, and he offered access. And without that, neighborhood bridges would have ever lifted off the ground. So thank you, John, for that. I also want to brag on him for another point, and the Board of Education, because in my work serving now 22 communities in Ohio, 22 in, 21 in Ohio, 21 in Alabama, and one in Mississippi, uh, what I've learned is, is that through John's work and his leadership and the board's work, Westerville Schools was first, among the very first, to deploy social workers in our buildings. That's an act of love and understanding of uh, who, who we're serving. And I know this because 
I serve across all these communities, and it's, it's more typical that a school district has one social worker at the district level coordinating all of this effort. So again, John and school board, thank you for your love and belief and understanding and making that happen in our community. So at this point, what I'd like to do is ask you to just consider for a minute who your gems are. As you were coming through growing up, coming through the schools, and in my case, Westerville, I came through Westerville schools myself. Who influenced you? What are your memories? Think about them right now. A coach, a counselor, a teacher, a principal, a school bus driver, right? For me, it was my fifth grade teacher at Amherst, Jenny McClendon. My history teacher at Blendon, Bob Woodruff. And my English teacher at Westerville South, Joy Rose, who went on to become principal, first female principal at the secondary level here in Westerville, and just had the library name for her. Again, thank you for that, for recognizing her. But here's what I want to say to you as you're thinking about your gems. Because of your work in this community, 20, 30, 40, in my case, 50 years later, you'll be sitting in a room and other people will be thinking of you as they think about their career, their elementary or middle school or high school careers. They'll be thinking about you in the future. Isn't that wonderful? Your deeds are being noticed. And so here's a, a statement I want to share with you. A life can be launched with as little as a single phrase, an uplifting word, or an act of kindness. Think of the power we wield and the impact we can make if we become more intentional about encouraging our children. Our words are often the very things that help create future dreams. And sometimes those dreams are to be just like us. Future teachers, future volunteers, future school board members, future general work winners. Isn't that exciting? So what has your work produced? What do good deeds produce? They solve problems. They provide opportunity. Community grows. Community within a school room, a school building, a playground, an entire community. Love expands. Relationships are built and strengthened. New opportunities for service to others are discovered. Trust is created. And everyone experiences a wonderful term that I want to talk to you next about because I really believe in it. Everyone experiences elevation. So, what is elevation? Elevation is an emotion elicited by witnessing actual or imagined virtuous acts of remarkable moral goodness. We have it in flesh and blood right here. It is experienced as a distinct feeling of warmth an expansion that is accompanied by appreciation and affection for the individual whose exceptional conduct is being observed. It is well beyond this ceremony here tonight. And elevation impacts all of us. Those who receive the act of kindness, those that you've impacted through your great work, you have experienced elevation most likely because these are the things that your heart desires to serve others. And everyone else in that community I was talking about who observes, who has observed your act has been elevated by you. So your nominators are, are witness to your great de deeds. It's really hard to calculate tonight 
the impact that you have had on our schools, our children, and our community. We'll be seeing that for many years to come. Your farmers cultivating opportunity to hope and goodwill. I think life is the ultimate team sport. What do you think? Except in life, there's only one team. That's what you're all about. So I'd like to close with, Rachel mentioned that we launched Neighborhood Bridges on Martin Luther King Day. Terribly selfish move on my part. I could have picked any day. I picked Dr. King's day. And so I've read everything I can get my hands on about Dr. King. When I meet with students, I beg them, just read. Read Dr. King. So I want to close with this. You've heard many of his speeches, and they're all great. My favorite speech of Dr. King's is one that you may not be familiar with. It's actually entitled The Drum Major Instinct. And it was the last sermon he gave at the Ebenezer Church there in Atlanta before he was taken. And so let me close with this. And he's quoting parts of the Bible here, but I think this is important to share tonight. And so we have a new norm of greatness. If you want to be important, wonderful. If you want to be recognized, wonderful. If you want to be great, wonderful. But recognize that he who is greatest among you shall be your servant. That's a new definition of greatness. And so I want to say thank you to you for all that you've done for my community and my family's community and close with what Dr. King closed with that day. He said, I want you to be first in love. I want you to be first in moral excellence. I want you to be first in generosity. This is what I want you to do. My goodness, but haven't you accomplished that? So thank you for transferring your light, for sharing your example. Thank you for your selflessness and service everyone in this community for lifting up the youth of Westerville for inspiring more good acts and happiness through your own good deeds for being first in love and I hope for advancing this community ever closer to that beloved community through you Westerville wins thank you Thank you so much, Mr. Bannister. Okay, we are gonna start with the presentation of the awards. Um, could I have my student readers come up? If we're gonna go in order of the program. So if you could start to line up along the wall here, and if you're later, you can kind of mosey on up in a little while. And Sam and Dean, if you could go to the boards, yes. And the rest of you in line here to shake hands. Great. We'll get in order here and get going. Sam and Dean will present the award to you, and then if you could come down along. Do you guys want to go out kind of in the middle? Yeah. And come across here, and then you'll exit on this side, winners. And then um, as soon as we're done, um, a few more instructions before the evening closes, and we will go from there. Krista Houston, Early Learning Center. 
We begin this evening with Krista Houston, who will read by her nominator. She goes out of her way to talk to me every day and lets me know my, how my child is doing. At such young ages, it means the world that a parent can confidently leave their child in amazing hands. And I know that this, that is what I am doing every day. Thank you for being awesome, Krista. Krista's not here. Moving on. Next up, we have Christy Groger, Alcott Elementary. Alcott's gem this year is Christy Groger. Her nominator wrote, We know there are a million tiny examples of how Christy went above and beyond in the time she served on the PTA board and serves as a sub. But her leadership with the walkathon in the fall of 2022 is, in our opinion, the best example of what kind of impact she makes. This kind of thinking and leadership isn't a grand gesture for Christy. It's just who she is and how she does things. And it's why we're so lucky to have her at Alcott. Thank you for being a gem, Christy. If, if we can hold our applause to the end, so um, then we can keep moving. That'd be great. Thanks. <laughs> Trisha Rosehall, Amherst Elementary. There's so much to say about our next gem. Her nominator wrote, wrote of her, Mrs. Hall's positivity is truly contagious and she's quick to bring a smile to all her students and staff that she interacts with. As Mrs. Hall says every morning on the announcements, have a great day and make somebody's day better. What a true dream you are, Trisha. Macy Pinion, Charrington Elementary. Macy Pinion is the next gem we celebrate. One of her nominators wrote, Macy has been an incredible, incredible asset to our Charrington staff for several years now. Macy works with students in our autism unit and she's incredible at what she does. Macy sees the needs of every student and staff member at, staff member at Charrington. She is patient and is calming presence to those around her. Proud to have you in our district, Macy. Andrea Wiseman, Emerson Magnet. Next this evening is Andrea Wiseman, who was nominated by so many of her students. One of which wrote, Mrs. Wiseman has helped me when I did my first play. It was very, I was very nervous because I thought I wasn't good enough, but Mrs. Wiseman helped me understand that I was good enough, and that I would do great if I believed in myself. We couldn't be more thankful for you, Andrea. Betsy Denny, Faust Elementary. Our next gen comes from Faust Elementary. One of Betsy's many nominators wrote, she takes an interest in her students beyond the classroom and delights her students by attending performances and ball games that occur in the community. It is no wonder that her students adore her. To close, Betsy is worthy of this award for her enduring dedication to Faust students and families. You are most certainly a gem, Betsy. Kathy Montero, Handy Magnet. Kathy Montero is our next gem, whose nomination, written by parents, said, not only has she helped her child tremendously learn to read and comprehend better, but has also shown him so much kindness, compassion, and support and encouragement along the way. Even her classroom feels warm and inviting. When we met for parent-teacher conferences, she was in the room with us, and the way she talked about him made, us, made him light up. She was also encouraging to my husband and I, telling us how well we were doing as parents. Hamby is so proud to have you as their gem, Kathy. Jenny Schreer, Hawthorne Elementary. Hawthorne's gem recipient is Jenny Schreer. Her nominator wrote, Mrs. S is always there for the kids. I've seen her talk down some very upset students, and I've seen her send home food, flyers on how to get things that are needed. She's also helped kids with their feelings and on how to get a warm coat on a cold day, all with a smile on her face. Thanks for being Hawthorne's shining gem, Jenny. Walter Brewer, Huber Ridge Elementary. An aide at Huber Ridge, Walter Brewer has, was nominated by a parent of the elementary school. His nominator said of him, he is always lively, friendly, and high energy for the kids and parents. We see him every day helping at the crosswalk stop on Manila. He knows all the kids' names, asks how their name was, and listens for their answers. The kids are excited to see him, and you can tell by how you can tell they appreciate his caring about him. Congratulations, Walter, and thank you for all that you do. Amanda Machak, Mark Twain. Amanda Machak is our next gem to celebrate. One of her own students wrote of her, Mrs. Machak helps prepare us for learning in second grade. She helps, give, she helps give her students confidence and encourage everyone to be kind. Amanda, it is evident that you are a true gem for our district. Danielle Whalen, McVeigh Elementary. Danielle Whalen is our next gem this evening. Her nominator wrote, 
She knows students personally and is never afraid to step in to help a student who may have been having a hard day or find things for kids who help out to help them out and better connect them to their school. Congratulations, Danielle, and thank you for all that you do. Anna Johnston, Minerva France Elementary. Next, we celebrate Anna Johnston, Minerva France's first GEM Award winner. Her nominator wrote, Anna has been amazing as a PTA board member in our first year in her first year as PTA. She not only has a great attitude, but she involves so many when it comes to building a welcoming community. Every time we see Anna in or out of building, she has always a smile on her face. Anna has built an amazing connection between the school, students, staff, and family members throughout the school year thus far. Thank you, Anna. All right, I'm handing off to my friend here. Next up, we have Julie Taylor from Pointview. Pointview's gem is Julie Taylor, whose nomination reads, this is Ms. Taylor's first year at Pointview, and she has jumped right in to get to know our students and their families. She is out opening car doors and greeting students each morning in each classroom weekly to teach past lessons and connecting with leader in me, and spreading the message of kindness and inclusion to all students through her anti-bullying and kindness lessons. We are thankful for the gem we have in you, Julie. Julie Cormel, Robert Frost Elementary. She, who is not here? Our next gem is Julie Cormel. One of her nominators wrote, she is tireless in her planning and outreaching events. We switched our celebrations this year from holiday focus to friendship focus. When schools have done things the same way for decades, it's no small task to make that change. But Julie helped parents, teachers, and students understand the need for change. Julie, we are so fortunate to have you here in Westville as one of this year's gems. Angela Zimmerman, Whittier Elementary. Angela Zimmerman of Whittier is our next gem. One of her nominees Nominations reads, Miss Zimmerman truly cares for her students and is the most energetic and passionate teacher I've had the privilege to meet. This is above and beyond what is asked of teachers. She makes learning fun and teaches with such, a pa with such passion and compassion, it's, it's inspiring. Thank you for all that you do to impact Whittier, Angelique. Laura Steer, Whittier Elementary. Whittier's gem is Laura Steer, whose nomina nomination reads, Laura is an advocate advocate for every student when she volunteers weekly for my class. She helps students feel successful when they are working in the hallway with her own math activities or trick board practice. She uses positive, reaffirming words and is great at adapting activities to meet the needs of all the students she volunteers with. Whitty, Whittier is very fortunate to have a gem in you, Laura. We're now on the middle schools. David Grimes from London Middle School. David Grimes is a teacher at London Middle School. His nominator wrote of him, David has made an immeasurable impact on the community and culture of London Middle School through both big and small actions. He has taken to contribute to a more thoughtful and accepting all-around student body. David, we could go on, but for now we will say thank you for being a gem. Tina Barnwell, Genoa Middle School. Genoa has chosen Tina Barnwell as their gem this year. Tina is a science teacher at Genoa. She was described as being every student's favorite teacher. In her nomination, we read, she is nice, easy to talk to, and makes learning fun. When eighth graders can seem really hard to understand, Ms. Baldwell can somehow find common ground and connect with her students. We need teachers like you, Tina. Thank you for all that you do. Stuart Gartrell, Heritage Middle School. Stuart Gartrell is an assistant principal at Heritage and was nominated by a parent as the gem for Heritage this year. It was incredible to read Mr. Gartrell's nomination and how he has created a safe and patient environment for for his students. The jump from elementary to middle school can also be extremely trying, and it was said time and time again how Stuart helps ease that transition to make it just a little bit less scary. His consistency with his students' time and attention is incredibly valuable to the students and, his, and parents at Heritage. Stuart, thank you for making the world a better place. Mike Pierce, Walnut Springs Middle School. Our next gem comes from Walnut Springs Middle School, Mike Pierce. A custodian was nominated by a fellow staff member. His nomination reads, Mike is always all hands on deck with a genuine interest and dedication to make everyone's day a little better. From the minute the students and staff walk in the door, Mike's sense of humor greets us. He doesn't just want the building to shine, he wants the students and staff to feel and be their best. We need more of you, Mike. We are proud to have you as a gem. Now on the high schools. Michael, Michael Park, Westerville Central High School. 
Michael Park, a teacher at Central, was nominated by one of his very own students who said of Mr. Park, he creates a positive and safe environment where students can connect with one another. With some of our writing assignments, they can be very two-sided, and he does a great job of allowing students to share their opinions without anyone becoming aggravated or getting hurt. Michael, what would we do without you? Thank you. Sharon Dewey, Westerville North High School. Sharon Dewey is our next gem this evening. Sharon is one of those volunteers extraordinaire who has brought so much to Westerville North community and beyond. Her nominator writes, when band director Sarah Loney found out in November that we could buy props from a school in Wisconsin for our upcoming marching band season, Sharon and two other superhero parents rented trucks and drove in the dark through the snow all the way to Indianapolis at 5 in the morning in order to load the props and bring them back to Westerville. She not only helps the marching band run smoothly, but invests in the lives of our students as well. Gems like you make our district better. Thank you, Sharon. Larry and Tiffany Jenkins, Westerville South High School. Couple Larry and Tiffany Jenkins are this year's gems for Westerville South. Both a part of the Music Boosters, these volunteers had numerous nominations. As said by one nominator, together they are a force supporting, behind, supporting every behind the scenes aspect of the music program. They do the work of a dozen people, a team that goes far beyond expectations. They help make Westerville South music program outstanding. Larry and Tiffany, thank you for your impact as a gem this year and beyond. All right, we now have our district winners. Cindy Straub. Cindy Straub is one of our district gym winners this year for her work as a volunteer that spans throughout Westville City Schools. Set of Cindy and her nomination. Hundreds if not thousands of students who perform each year in Westerville's three high school theater programs are enriched with the wealth and depth of knowledge of that professional choreographer Cindy Straub brings to the stage each year. She has been a dance instructor for more than 40 years and has even trained Rockettes, Broadway dancers, and danced on Broadway herself. The level of knowledge she has for her musical theater is beyond measure, and her passion for the performing arts can only be matched by her love for the students that she trains. We thank you, Sydney, for all you do. Molly Frizzle. Our next district gym to celebrate is Molly Frizzle. Molly is known by so many in this district. Sorry, we'll see. We're going to do Jeremy Molly. 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 Alright, next we have celebrate <laughs> next we celebrate Jerry, Jeremy Holland, who works with schools across the district through Columbus Refugee and Immigration Services. Jeremy's nominator writes, Jeremy is passionate about helping West Coast students and is very quick to respond to the needs of our English learning students and is always willing to help. When a student needed help with her with financial aid forms to college, Jeremy was able to connect with a, with a college student from her native Ghana to assist her. He has provided so many opportunities for our students and is always there for them when they need something. He works with entire families failing needs such as finding adult language classes and legal assistance. Jeremy, thank you for all you do for Russell City Schools. The next, the next district award goes to Dr. Lisa Hillscan, gifted facilitator. Her nominator shared, there are so many things that Lisa does to have a positive impact on the students of Westerville. While the examples above are only a few of the amazing things Lisa has done for the students in the past year, I want to share that having had the opportunity to work with Lisa for almost 20 years, I could write a novel about how she has made a difference in the lives of the students in Westerville. Dr. Kiel's camp is such an extreme example for our district. Michael Toth. The ne next district award goes to the volunteer and substitute Michael Toth. Michael's nominator wrote, Mike has had an amazing super sub. He is quick to jump into classrooms at a moment's notice. He has always been so, so positive and kind to all the students in the classrooms. Subs are hard to find. Super subs are really hard to find, but Mike has been a wonderful resource. He is really a part of the communities where he subs. He works very hard to know all the students and their personalities. We are thankful for people like you, Michael. Our next district gym to celebrate is Molly Frizzle. Molly is known by so many in the district and is continually leading, lending a hand at schools all over. One of Molly's two nominators wrote, Molly has been, made incredible efforts as a volunteer to advocate for our children and show they have a positive school experience and provide countless efforts, time, and love and fundraising to provide for students and programs in our district. Thank you for being an incredible gym across our district, Molly. Nicole Johnson. Nicole Johnson, a volunteer in our district, is being awarded our next gym. 
written of Nicole. Nicole has been a leader in the parent councils in Westerville for over 10 years. She has organized countless events and fundraisers that have had a major impact on the students at Alcott, Genoa, and Central over the years. She not only leads, she participates in volunteering and is not afraid to get her hands dirty when getting work done. Nicole, thank you for being such a light for so many in our district. Rhonda Gilpin. Another district gem to celebrate is Rhonda Gilpin, who's not running a road. Rhonda Gilpin has given so many hours beyond the school each day to make sure that students are getting the best education at Westville City Schools. Rhonda has worked to create positive and open lines of communications throughout the years with all groups that make up the different departments and groups within the Westville Schools. Rhonda, you're such a gem for our district. Now we have our Terry Gordon Business Award. Last of this evening, we celebrate our Terry Gordon Business Award winner, Card My Yard, Galena. This incredible, this incredible ways Card My Yard, Galena has been a partner in this district, district well beyond what was asked for them. It was inspiring to read about, and we should all be so fortunate to have him as a part of our community. Not only do owners Julie Borth and Aaron Bates generously offer this service for our schools, they volunteer in a countless number of ways throughout several schools in our district. They're nominated a row about how they have seen them set up in ways beyond that what she's seen most volunteers and companies do. Thank you, Carmen Arcalina, for all that you've done for Westwood State Schools. Tracy, do you want to close things? And then I have some instructions after that. Okay. I'll be short and sweet. Um, I just want to thank everyone for coming tonight. And thank you to all the gems for really making a difference. Um, you make this school better and our community better. And we greatly appreciate it. And we're going to have to adjourn. So may I have a motion to adjourn? up to the stage we're going to take a group picture and then the rest of us can move on to um, the receptions in the gallery there's cake and cookies and punch and soda so please help yourself and um, let the celebration continue thank you thank you all so much